Hey guys, Michael here, and this is a look at the way in which the MacBook Air Core i7 handles Final Cut Pro X. So what I did for a test was I took the Canon EOS M, which is a recent purchase of mine, and it records in the MOV format, which is not the most efficient way um, or the best way to utilize Final Cut Pro X, but I really wanted to see how well the Core i7 MacBook Air would handle A, uh, running through compressor and then B at what point would fans, heat, things like that really kind of kick in. So I began the process again kind of optimistic that the i7 would work well. I did have it plugged in uh, just so you know and I found it to be rather interesting to see the results. So a minute and 40 seconds rendered from a MOV file so that's running at two Final Cut Pro X then exporting it to compressor into a final product that you could upload to YouTube at 1080p took approximately 10 minutes. Now about 8 minutes into it I noticed that there was some heating of the laptop and about 9 minutes into it the fan kicked on. Not really loud but you could hear it from a small distance and uh, so I thought it was more than more than acceptable given what I was doing with the system. So what I thought I would do then, as opposed to comparing it to the MacBook Air from 2012 that I have, I wanted to see how well it compared to a 2011 iMac i5 with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I found this to be very interesting. Again, the software is the same, so compressor, uh, Final Cut Pro X. But instead of this handling the file as efficiently as the MacBook Air, and I'm showing here time about halfway through, it took almost 30 minutes to render that file successfully. Interesting point. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. And as always, thanks for watching.